You can do this with alcohol. Or drugs, that would be fun. Hey everybody, it's Burt Kreischer. The Machine! And these are my favorite snacks. All right, I don't even want to know what it is. Throw it my way. Oh, you start with the goat. You start with the, oh! This is the best snack there is. This is my go-to snack. Anytime I have a snack, this is what I want. I remember the first time I was introduced to combos. I was in New York. Twitter had just become a thing. And I opened these, and I tried one. And I said, and then you can find this tweet, hey, combos, you just redefined my palate. What other flavors do we have coming? And the tweet went viral. People were like, whale and whiskey would be a good combo. Or how about sperm and, and tequila? And I even tried to do a combos comedy tour where you take two different styles of comedy, pair them together, combo sponsors them, combos on all the table, combos written behind, combos fucking rock, Burt Kreischer, Cat Williams, combos. But they're a Christian-based company and they said no. But their snacks are so freaking good. Okay, okay, okay. The cocaine of snacks. Have you guys done cocaine before? If you've done it, you know it delivers. Someone goes, you wanna try it? And you're like, I don't know, will I like it? Uh, yeah, you'll like it, it's cocaine, obviously. Cocaine and blowjobs both deliver. These are so good. We were in Bali, my wife does not like Doritos. And I had had these, these are the sweet chili Doritos. I said, baby, just try one. I promise you if you try one, you will love them. My wife ate the whole bag in bed watching TV and kept doing this. I can't believe how good these are. I mean, it is spicy, but not that spicy. And it is sweet, but it ain't that sweet. They're so good. They make all the other Doritos look pedestrian. All the other Doritos are just kissing and necking. These are finger fucking. Oh yeah. Oh baby, double stuffed Oreos. All right. What kind of person are you? Are you the kind of person that goes into a grocery store and doesn't get a case of double stuffed Oreos every time you walk in? You need them in your house. If a child ever walks into your house, how do you expect to entertain them? These things have the gold, they have the goods. And it's the thing I bond with my daughters on. I love when we go food shopping and you grab one and slide it in the bag and go, don't tell mom. I walked in one time, my daughter was sitting in our pantry by herself eating Oreos. And I, went, I walked in and she went, huh? And I said, what? She goes, oh. I thought you were a mom, close the door. These are fucking awesome. These are good. These are as good as baseball and oral sex. These are fucking standards of our country. Communists didn't have these, and that's why we won. And that's why we win the second time. All right, here we go. Oh, Nutter Butters, come on. If we're going sweet snack, Nutter Butters the home run. I was introduced to Nutter Brothers my freshman year of college. My buddy worked at Nabisco. That summer, I discovered four things. Marijuana, widespread panic, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Nutter Butters. And I've never had a better summer in my life. And, and I'm so creepy, what I would do, this is I would get high, I'd play Sonic the Hedgehog, and I'd fan out a whole plate of Nutter Butters and let him get a day old stale. Oh, it's nothing better than a day old stale Nutter Butter. I mean, peanut butter is so good. Am I sampling all these? I'm pretty, I was pretty strict diet. <laughs> I'm not on a strict diet. I'm a fucking lunatic. Oh, shut the fuck up, dude. Rap snacks rock. There is, I don't know if it's, the, they don't have the same regulations as other snacks, but these are so good as you eat them, they go, this can't be right. What are they doing different? You ever had a chef make dinner at your house? And then you go, how'd you do that with all the stuff in my refrigerator? That's what a wrap snack is. They're so freaking good and they all deliver. Every one of my tour bus knows we, we fuck with wrap snacks. Oh, wow. The woman that plays my wife in my movie, The Machine, she booked the part and she made an interesting acting choice. Throughout the audition, she was talking to me and she was eating something. And my wife said, that woman Stephanie needs to play your wife. That's your wife in the movie. 
But more importantly, what the fuck is she eating? <laughs> so we do a call back with Stephanie and tell her she got the part. And Leanne goes, what are you eating? She goes, flip sides. I'll smuggle them into Serbia. When we go to Serbia for that first week, I'll introduce them to you. They're addictive. One side's a pretzel, one side's a cracker, and it is next level. We hum through a box of these at our house. You got all the crisp up top, and then all the buttery part of like a Ritz cracker in the back, and they it is just so complex. But they're fucking amazing. Has anyone ever had these before? Yes. Yes. And yes. This is the triad of Americana. If you're getting this in a, a foreign country and there's subtitles on here, and you're going, what is that? Well, this is what defines us as Americans. If you want to get to our heart, it's these. If you go to a, 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 a barbecue of any sort, you will see one of these three. Probably more of these two, but these were the game changers to these two. And, and they're like three sisters, okay? It depends who do you want to fall in love with. This, obviously, is the oldest sister. She reads, she's got dark hair, she's got brown eyes, she's tall, she doesn't do any sports, but she's fun to talk to. This is her middle sister, okay? She smokes weed. She's a little thicker, she's a waitress, she's got blonde hair, she's still got brown eyes, but she does know how to party. She likes IPAs, she likes fucking fish, and she likes to like sleep outdoors. Now this is their youngest sister. Beware of her, okay? She's the one that doesn't talk at Thanksgiving. She's got a short haircut and a bob. It's blonde. She's got crystal blue eyes. She's got a nose ring. And after dinner, she goes, you want to do Molly tonight? And you're like, I I'm dating one of your sisters. And she goes, I don't give a fuck. My dad says we can take the horses out if we just bring them back, don't put them up wet. You wanna do that on Molly? And then you're like, why the fuck am I dating these two when I could be married to her? Because you eat her by the handful. You should do this with alcohol. Or drugs, that would be fun. Like, hey, I like mushrooms. Oh, okay, all right, it's been 45 minutes. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching me eat my favorite snacks. I hope you love snacks as much as I do. I hope you love comedy as much as I do. And if you do, check out my special Razzle Dazzle streaming right now on Netflix. And don't forget, my movie The Machine comes out Memorial Day weekend only in theaters. Go to themachine.movie and I'll see you at the movies. Thank you, Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, guys.